Hi friend. Today, I would like to share with you about a topic of healthy relationship. What builds a healthy relationship? Healthy relationships are built on healthy communication, mutual respect, and trust. In a healthy relationship both partners feel valued and respected, and have their boundaries respected. What is the key to a healthy relationship? Relationships may be defined in different ways depending on who's involved, but healthy relationships all depend on a few key elements, healthy communication, healthy boundaries, mutual respect, and support for one another. How can I strengthen my relationship? Eight ways to strengthen your relationship. One, be friends. Any healthy relationship must be based on a solid underlying friendship. Two, stay connected. Couples need to spend a lot of time with each other, advises David Kaplan, Ph. Three, get physical. Four, celebrate each other. Five, fight well. 6. Take a class. 7. Listen carefully. 8. Maintain your sense of self. What makes a relationship last? Be honest. Secrets and lies weaken the foundation of any relationship. Ignoring problems, another form of keeping secrets, doesn't make them go away. What is important is respectful, open communication regarding your feelings and dreams. What does it mean to maintain a relationship with God? Developing and maintaining a strong relationship with God requires time, effort, and the desire for closeness. Just as relationships with other people take work and devotion, so does a relationship with God. Putting forth that effort often leads to a greater sense of self-worth, inner peace, compassion, and love. What do you consider a good relationship with Jesus? Jesus calls us friend in the Bible, John 15 verse 15. A relationship with him is a relationship of intimacy and security, of being totally known and totally accepted. It is not a relationship of equals, however. Jesus is fully God as well as fully man, and as such he remains Lord of heaven and earth. What kind of relationship does God want with us? If you read through the Bible, every author knew the Lord uniquely and the Lord spoke very plainly to and through each one of them. We are the benefactors of their intimacy, but the Lord wants each one of us to cultivate our own personal relationship where we hear His voice and interact with Him. Why is it important to have a good relationship with God? With God, He views our errors and mistakes as learning lessons. It is beneficial for us to view our setbacks and missteps in the same way. God extends great love and compassion toward our souls. We give ourselves the greatest gift of kindness and love when we extend the same courtesy toward ourselves and others. How can I nurture my relationship with God? The most important way is by spending time with them, talking with them, listening to them, sharing your concerns with each other, and even helping them when they need our help. And the same is true with God. When we read or hear His Word, the Bible, He speaks to us. When we pray, we speak to Him. Why faith is important in a relationship? No one can know how life with our mates will turn out, yet we continue to have faith our relationships will last a lifetime. Faith speaks the language of the heart. 
It is an expression of hope that goes beyond the conscious mind. All that we hold precious rests upon a faith in people, their potential not yet fulfilled. Why faith in God is important in our life. Without faith, we couldn't expect that things would turn out all right for us no matter what the situation might be. Faith, then, is just as important as the air we breathe. While the oxygen in the air nourishes the body, faith nourishes the heart and the soul. Thanks for visiting and have a wonderful day.